Hi everyone, today the review will be The Expendables, the first. Here are some of the actors, Sylvester Stallone, Jet Li, Jason Statham, Mika Rourke and uh, Eric Roberts. A CIA operative hires a team of mercenaries to eliminate a latent dictator and a renegade CIA agent. Well, 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 what can I say? Um, the Expendables, is, uh, uh, this is not a bad movie. It's just a nice movie, I would say. That Well, yeah, okay, probably and definitely for maybe half of the planet, I mean, half of the man of the planet, it's an excellent movie. Um, and, well, that's good for them because it talks to them this way. But let's just say that you're going to find all the different cliché that you can find in an action-packed movie for a man. You have uh, you, the young, beautiful woman to save. Um, the guys are playing little soldiers. Yes, I know they are mercenaries, but I'm sure you know what I want to say by that. Um, you have one of the team betrayed everyone, wants to kill them like crazy, but at the end he is just forgiven, like in a big loving family. Uh, you have sword of her, an older one um, played by Mikko, who's kind of a Yoda for them. It's kind of funny for that. Um, and you have tons and tons and tons of explosions uh, of blood. We are not spare with the scenes of blood. And, and yes, and not to forget that they shoot for ages. So it's it really gives the impression, and it's more the impression, that this is a movie made by a man, performed by a bunch of guys. Uh, for all the men on the planet who still wants to be a little soldier and uh, going at war. So that's why I say that it's not bad because seriously I, I've, I've seen worse than that. So it's, it's kind of okay but it could have been so much better and just by little tiny things, things could have been said differently or just a little bit push more to to give another perspective. Um, for instance, you have at the end when he saved the woman, he's he's taking a bullet for her, just to save the character of Sylvester Stallone, and he's just hugging her at the end like an old friend, like a, a like a sister. It's like, can, could you just have, I don't know, kissed her and even spend a day with her doing whatever you want with her, and at the end you're come back at your buddy's nest and say, well, whatever, she wasn't my type. Like you said, but a little bit too soon. It's like, you are not gonna do all of that. And using the excuse of that you want to save the woman because you think that that's fair, and actually you just want to play a little soldier and shooting everything and everyone. It's... This is the kind of thing that comes kind of ridiculous. I liked the moment emotional scene with uh, Mickey Rourke. Um, and yes, he is still a great actor. And another great performance, well, like always, um, if you need someone to excel at being a disgusting bastard, you're gonna take Eric Roberts. So, and, and this is not um, disrespectful to say that, because I really enjoy this actor. Uh, he's is absolutely excellent for playing this kind of character, but I love watching him and doing uh, doing something completely different. So yeah, it's not that bad. It could have been way better, and I'm curious to see what the second's gonna be if it's gonna be a little bit better. Um, so yeah, you can you can go watch it. I'm not gonna say that you have to forget it because it's not. It's really not that bad. It's just. It's just disappointing because it's really, you are watching just cliche after cliche, that's all. Thank you very much for having watched this review and until the next time, have a good day.